Kingu, the son of Abzu, the enemy of the gods. And here today, Ur Kingu is the enemy of the enemy of the Anunnaki. The term the enemy is the meaning of Baal. If one were to say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, then we would also be saying, the Baal of my Baal is my friend. And this would be the duality we need to understand. The enemy is split asunder, cleft in two, Kingu and Ur Kingu. In the Enum Elish, it is written, Name 44, huh, twinned, doubled. Ur Kingu, who carried off Kingu in the thick of battle, who conveys guidance for all, and establishes rulership. To begin, Ur King means to annoy someone, cognate with Grig from Grigori, who would be the watchers of all. The Grigori would align with the Greek Titans, the Slavic word Grigori, from the Greek Egregori, Egregori, means wakeful, and Ori from the Orios Marduk, Ori meaning purgatory or purgatorial. This would be awakening the site of punishment, Egregori. The word Grigori can also mean raising hell on earth. The Hebrew equivalent means waking, awake. Mumu, the brother of Kingu, can mean always being reborn. Therefore, the original Dumuzi, such as the moon, Lord Zu, and is reduplicated as to ignite. For example, the fires of hell, the fire pit within the mound, also meaning to sprout, appear. The resurrection of Dumuzi would be awake, in which they resurrect the dying and rising god. If Mamu was always being reborn, then he would be the first Dumuzi, the lesser spirit, the child weapon. He would be a spirited little fire, the meaning of Athena, the Dumuzi of Zeus. Anywho, all of this is related it simply depends on when and where. Kingu, also spelled Quingu, means unskilled labourer. Kingu, who, in Mesopotamian mythology, was the consort of Tiamat. I sarcastically wonder which group of people abide by incest in order to keep their bloodline pure. Hmm? This is very important to note. The scribes of Babylon were merging the original beliefs with their own desires. This would be how their ways gain acceptance and is very applicable to modern day. It will become more noticeable when I start work in Egypt, leading to Greece and Rome. The nobility do as the gods do, and when in Rome, you did what the Romans did, which is very applicable to the modern day. And in Greece, please don't get me started on the dark cult of Hermes, again applicable to the rainbow, and 
Jeffrey fucking Epstein. Oddly enough, his name can mean the god of the mound, related to an underworld river. Epstein now meaning to commit homicide and frame it as suicide. Oddly enough, that is what is happening here. The epic, the Enum Elish, tells how Tiamat, determined to destroy the other gods, created a mighty army and set Kingu at its head, who, by challenging the gods, were basically committing suicide. But when Kingu saw Marduk coming, however, he fled. Kingu is the brother of Mamu, the second son of Abzu. The name Ur Kingu refers to one who defeated Kingu. But it can also refer to the lamentation for Kingu, and in turn Abzu and Mamu, who was enraged, one could say screaming, roaring, while lamenting his father Abzu, death referring to the lack of worship. It would appear that the enemy of the enemy is a friend, lamenting, screaming, roaring, from the outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. This is where and for whom the Lamentation Rites were created, created by Enki to appease Abzu. I will explain the meanings of Ur King Gu from Sumerian Akkadian, then I will create a paragraph from the text. Aya, Ur, Tears, Lamentation, Prayer, Complaint, To Weep. Aya, Sweet, Smell, Odor, Scent, Perfume, Fragrance, The Adjectives, Scented, Perfumed, Fragrant. Aya, Ur, uh, To Bring, To Lead Away. Kin, Message, Order, Task, Work, To Build, And To Measure Out. To Seek, Fetch, With Knee, Fear, To Send, To Order. Gu, Noise, Sound, Voice, To Exclaim. To utter a cry, cognate with ire, ah, said of an animal, throat plus you, cries and screams, cognate with mamu, to shout, to scream, the roars of exorcism, related to the animal god, this would be related to its feeding time, related to a ritual sacrifice, Entwined with goo, yet another double meaning. Goo, coo, food, sustenance, fodder, angle, to eat, swallow, consume, use, to eat up, finish, off, to feed, nurse, benefit, with knee, fear, throat plus you, meaning food. Shall I pour the sick and rotting truth of the dying world into your precious golden bloom? The lamentation rites were created by Enki 
to appease Abzu, and therefore his children. And here we have, er, uh, something that is sweet-scented, perfumed, At this time in history, wine was perfume, and was used to dress the dead during a funeral rite. To the gods, wine is blood, and blood is mud, from which the graven images of the Anunnaki were created. Kin means message, referring to the work, the order to build. The Ur-Kin is a sweet-scented lamentation, or an exorcism conjuration, used to interfere by employing a screaming, roaring message born from the fire, with goo, creating the food of the gods. Or the mighty Quinn, Quinn from later Hebrew, meaning adore, zeal, and jealousy. Er Quingu, transforming the meaning to a sweet scented lamentation, or the exorcism conjuration for a jealous god, will create the food for the gods. Negativity, Ni Melam. Fear, Irkingu, the ritual for a jealous god. I'm quite sure we've heard that before, haven't we? Legion are one of many, many of one. To feed one is to feed them all. Are we afflicted, or anointed, or is there any difference? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. <laughs>